My top five lower body exercises for athletes. You know I had to start off with a trap bar deadlift. I love the trap bar deadlift. It's probably my favorite lift and all its variants as well. It's just safer than a standard deadlift. I only use a sumo deadlift if I have to. Apart from that, I never use a conventional deadlift. Also remember to use bands and chains if you can for accommodating resistance, but get your trap bar deadlifts in. They're brilliant. Now the next exercise is going to be a sled push. Now it doesn't have to be this variation of the sled push. It could just be a heavy sled push. I really, really like these. The reason for that is you're going to develop what we call concentric strength, but you're not going to get any DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness from sled pushes because there's no eccentric. So you shouldn't have too many DOMS from doing it. They're really, really good for developing strength strength make sure you get them in third exercise as everyone loves to hate this exercise it's the nordic curl superb especially for footballers like bakiyaku here you need to be doing these to make sure that you're not going to injure your hamstrings so make sure you get them in you're probably going to look like more like me doing them than bakiyaku doing them but they're very good the only issue with them is again you could get a lot of doms from these so make sure you're low in reps Fourth exercise is a belt squat. Now, the reason a belt squat is so good is because it's going to kind of eliminate all the technical aspects of a barbell squat. Remember, we just want to get our legs stronger. We're not worried about being a power lifter. So this removes that aspect and it means you can really load up the bar or load up the belt squat and go super, super heavy. It will protect your shoulders as well because you're not going to have to go into this position here, protect your lower back. You'll feel great doing it. Only issue is the gym might not have one. Fourth exercise is another squat and it is going to be the box squat. This is a great exercise for developing rate of force development leg strength is brilliant you need to pause two seconds on that box and explode up also if you have knee issues when you're squatting a box squat can be a great alternative because it takes the pressure off the knees at the bottom end of it and finally we needed a single leg variant and that's why i go for heavy bulgarian spot squats however be careful with the dom so we keep the, the reps nice and low but it's a great exercise Pow!